Guys, this book's a big one. The Art of Blue Sky Studios. Hey guys, this is Morgan with Rose Covers, and today I'm bringing you another art book review. This time it's a little different. It's the art of Blue Sky Studios. So immediately what's really cool about this book is that it's an art book for the entire studio. Mason actually reviewed the art of DreamWorks Animation, so that was similar because DreamWorks was having their anniversary and it made sense to put that out, and Blue Sky has done the same. Now Blue Sky is one of the big four animation studios. We have Pixar, we have Disney, DreamWorks, and Blue Sky. Now Blue Sky is smaller than the other studios, they have less films, but nonetheless their films are still great. They're known for the Ice Age franchise, the Rio franchise, they've done other cool films like Robots and Epic, so I really enjoy Blue Sky. I would definitely, you know, if I ever got into animation and wanted to work there, I would be into working at Blue Sky. So with your traditional art books about a movie, they really focus on the making of a particular movie. But what I loved about this book is it really focused on the studio and the way the studio evolves through each of their pictures. So it starts out and it gives you just a little history about how the studio started. Many animation studios start out doing commercials and that's how they get their credibility and then they do bigger and bigger commercials until finally they're able to do shorts which leads them to feature film. And that's exactly what happened with Blue Sky. They started doing laxative commercials and prescription medication commercials and then they started moving up. They slowly started adding characters in there and then they put this short together called Bunnies and it won the Academy Award for Best Animated Short. So that right away, they had a slight relationship with Fox, who's their distributor, and once they won the Academy Award, Fox said, we're all in. And the Blue Sky Feature Film Division was born. So that's just a little history that you learn in the first few pages of the book, and then it takes you movie by movie. Now I mentioned that short bunnies, I thought it was a little sad that that, that was really like the launching pad for the studio, but they didn't include any art from that, and which was kind of disappointing because I was interested in checking that out. But it's okay because we jump right into Ice Age. So in each section talking about each movie, it talks about not only how they develop the concept of their movie, but what technological challenges they had to overcome, or what new computer program they had to develop to, to do that. Blue Sky from the very beginning was known for their computer program, which allowed them to have really realistic lighting. Um, other studios had to go in and manually paint in the shadows and the highlights, but their program was able to just replicate physics, and that really gave them an upper hand, and gave their films a really unique look. So each movie has about 30 to 40 pages dedicated to it, and that is the reason why this book is so big. You see this? It's so thick. It's probably double the size of your normal art book. So they didn't skip at all on this. They didn't just kind of brush over less popular movies. They really gave time to honor each individual film. So the art in this book is amazing. There's actually a pretty good variety between concepts, catches, color keys, storyboards, all sorts of stuff. And every once in a while you get a two-page section that tells you about a different department in the Blue Sky Studio. So there's one about the animation department and you get to read all about that, and so on and so forth. And every once in a while the film is broken up because it tells us about different departments in the making of a movie. So we have the animation department, we have a section about music. And I thought that was really cool because maybe you don't have time to speak to that for every single film, but just talking about it collectively is pretty interesting. So in each section, like I mentioned, we're going to have a variety of art. There's actually a lot of full frame paintings, which I really enjoyed. I thought it was rather beautiful. Blue Sky's style, I mean I know there's individual artists, but collectively as a style, it's very kind of wispy and, and it's not just very concrete lines, it's more freeform. And so you'll see a lot of that in the book. So each section focuses on how they came up with the idea for the film, or hatch the idea to take it from the Rio section. Different characters, so if we have a new character that's brought into the movie, or a really key integral character, they'll spend a little time talking about that. They'll talk about technical improvements and different things that they were able to overcome and any other random tidbits that would be interesting to know. So I absolutely love this book. I was blown away with the detail. I thought there was a good balance between text and art, and I could not put this book down. I'm kind of an animation history buff, so I love learning about different studios. And you may have known about some of these things about Blue Sky before, but it's nice to have it all in one place. And it's really nice to just have a chronology of the Blue Sky Studios films all in one place. 
So one reason that I really liked this book is it was just completely different than the other art books that come out for movies. You know, I love animation art books, but after a while they sort of get to be the same. It's kind of, oh, here's how we came up with the idea, here's how we developed the world, and here's the characters. And while it's interesting and it tells you so much about each individual film, I thought that taking this from a studio perspective was really smart. And so if you're an animation fan, buy this book. I don't normally say like flat out and buy it, I usually give qualifiers like if you're a Pixar fan, buy this book. But for this, if you love animation, you have to own it. It's a little more expensive than your typical art book, but it's so worth it. It is one of the big four studios and they are going to be doing some really cool things in the future, so you gotta own it. Yes, it may become dated after a year or two when new movies come out, but eh, it really doesn't bother me. So two thumbs way up for this book, pick it up. You can also check out our Amazon affiliate link right here to buy it yourself. All right guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Blue Sky Studios film is. And also like this video if you like Blue Sky Studios and be sure to subscribe for more because trust me, we have a lot more animation book reviews to do. Subscribe. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'm Morgan and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.